All right, guys, welcome back to our world outdoors. Today we are at Lake Hope State Park. We are at Park Road 1. You can park right next to there. We're gonna do the Peninsula Trail. Three miles, super simple. If you're one of the people that watch our channel, that come to the Hawking Hills, and are looking for ideas to go when Hawking Hills is extremely busy, like Old Man's Cave during midday is extremely busy, then you can come here, do this little three mile hike. Has a blend of walking along the side of the lake and a little bit of in woods. It's not hard and it's easy to find information on this trail on all trails. So, let's go explore the Peninsula Trail. So, as you can see, these trails are well maintained, really kept clean, beautiful view of the lake on the beginning part of this trail. Now, the loop does dump you right back out to where you started, just on the other side of Park Road 1. So it's super simple, you're not like going way away from your car. Three miles, generally speaking, I feel that most kids and families are going to enjoy that length. And, I should tell you, today is Thursday. It is noon. If you went to Old Man's Cave right now, it would be packed. So, this just shows how good an option this is. Because I haven't seen anyone else on the trail. So I don't know if you guys were able to see it. I'll try and zoom in in editing. But I came around a bend and there was a water bird of some kind. I really didn't get a lot of time to pay attention to it because I was too busy watching what it was doing. Is I don't know, crane, stork, something, whatever you want to call it. But it had a bluegill in its mouth and flipped it up and ate it right in front of me. I just caught it the perfect time where I just caught it. Hopefully, two or three clips back, I was able to push in on editing and let you guys see it. I know it'll probably be grainy, but you'll get the idea. These are the kind of things you see out here at Lake Hope. It's a very calm area. Even the fishermen and the kayakers are very quiet and calm. Now, I'm about one and a half miles plus back, and as you can see, the trail's a little more overgrown. You're getting to the point where people usually turn around and go back unless they're going to hike the whole thing. But it's still not bad compared to a lot of other trails I've been on. But I like this part here in the middle. A, because generally you're not going to see as many people. But B, because you start to see the colors in the water, the flowers growing in the water, and you generally have a nice view of the water all the way around this bend. I got a nice blue sky day today. Not a better day in the world to be doing anything other than being out here. The only way it could be better is if I had either my granddaughter or my wife or one of my family members with me to enjoy it with me. But a little solo time never hurt anyone.
Well, we're definitely having our wildlife encounters today. Once again, I hope you guys can see that on video. Zooming in on this thing, it's kind of hard. GoPro gets grainy when you zoom in, but that deer just stood there looking at me. And I walked down the trail thinking it ran up the hill and took off. No, it's just standing there. I walked right past it, turned around, shot at it again with the camera. It just started eating, walking away. So, really seeing a lot of nature today. Feeling like Lake Hope is really a serene place that more people should visit if they want to come and experience nature with a little less crowds. Now, as you can see, we've hit the wooded area. The trails are pretty soft. A lot of that back there was pine needle. It is a little buggier here because you got stagnant water down here in the lilies, but it isn't bad. I kind of prefer it at this point in the day because it's starting to get hot and pretty much you're shaded through this entire part of the hike. Pretty nice to be out of the blazing sun. Granted, those views of that lake, they're amazing. Let's keep at it. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of the trip. Three miles, beautiful area. Can you imagine what it'd be like at Hawking Hills right now? So, make sure you come out, visit Lake Hope State Park, come out check out the Peninsula Trail if you haven't already, and I don't know why you wouldn't have. Go down, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, make sure you like the video, it really helps out the channel, and we will see you in the next one.